What does it take to make a $25,000 electric car? More government incentives? Using inferior materials? Pete Rawlinson has the answer. As a veteran of the electric vehicle industry and current CEO of Lucid Motors, he surely knows a few things about making EVs. Will Lucid, a company that is about to release a luxury EV and also has plans for another luxury car, an SUV, ever design a $25,000 EV? Before we get into all that, here's a quick reminder to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, remember to drop your comments below as we love to hear from you. Now, it seems the industry and its watchers have arrived at what the cost of an affordable electric car should be. How they determined it is not clear, but the most quoted figure is $25,000. It is believed that at that price, more average Joes will consider buying an electric car. Lucid, a company that is going to be releasing its Lucid Air, a $70,000 sedan after incentives. It has a variant, the Air Dream Edition, that costs $161,500. It will immediately make an SUV, the Project Gravity, which will probably cost more than the Air. It is marketing the SUV as redefining luxury. Clearly, this is a company that has set its sight on the luxury segment of the EV market. Lucid also sees itself as a competitor to Tesla another company that sells cars with high price tags. It is taking the same route Tesla took to the market by focusing on high-end models, at least initially. Despite this, the CEO has a few ideas about how to make less expensive cars. How to make an affordable electric car Let's go by some comments made by Rawlinson according to CarBuzz. I have a clarity of vision to get to the mythical $25,000 electric car, and it's going to take one thing to drive it technology. So, Rawlinson is not relying on subsidies or other incentives. This makes sense as incentives are temporary arrangements. They have time frames and other terms and conditions. Take for instance the US Federal EV Tax Credit. It is worth up to $7,500 for every qualified car. But there are conditions. The phrase up to is key because it means you may not get the whole $7,500. Here's how it works. Let's say you buy a Lucid Air when it becomes available. You are not entitled to a flat discount of $7,500. Rather, you get back part of your tax bill for the year if you buy the EV. If your tax bill is, say, $4,000, that's how much you get back from Uncle Sam, not seven and a half grand. And no, the balance cannot be carried over to the following tax year. Complicating things further, the Fed tax credit expires for an automaker when it has sold its 200,000th EV. So, depending on what you buy from Lucid, you may not get any tax break at all. As it is, Tesla has run out of tax credits and you have to pay full prices for their cars. However, there has been news that a new tax credit regime is coming and Tesla will be able to benefit again. In another video, we will look at what that means for the EV industry. That's why you should subscribe so you don't miss out. Another route is to make the cheap electric car using inferior materials. But that may not appeal to Rawlinson, who wants to be a purveyor of luxury automobiles. Which leaves us with Rawlinson's theory of using technology to approach the price. The Role of Technology Technology has actually reduced costs in many instances, for example, the personal computing space. Prices have fallen over the years until the PC has become affordable to most people. But how does Rawlinson see this working for electric vehicles? He wants to start with high-end models and then make them progressively more affordable in progressively increasing numbers. His tool here is good old technology. Lucid is basically using the air like a test bed of some sort. Sorry, Lucid adopters, but you're the guinea pigs in this scenario. It is using the car to develop the company's tech assets because, on more expensive vehicles, it is easier to recoup higher production costs. At the end of the day, Lucid will like to make a platform that is flexible to accommodate the different models it will release in the future. One of the components Rawlinson has his sight on is the battery. Actually, the battery accounts for one-third the cost of a normal electric vehicle. That is, before we get into this super high-end price range. So the battery is a good place to start cutting costs. This is a popular idea in the industry, but while many focus on reducing the costs of the battery, Rawlinson will rather prioritize battery efficiency. He says, If I can double efficiency, I can go the same range with half the battery size. That would have the battery cost 
and would have the weight of the battery. Surely that's better than just carving battery costs. Rawlinson's method would be killing two birds with one stone, bring down the price and weight of the car, and yes, the battery accounts for much of the weight of the car. This opens up two paths moving forward. With a more efficient battery, Rawlinson could decide to keep the same price for his vehicles and increase the battery capacity, giving users more range or keep the same battery capacity and reduce the price, giving users more affordable models. You might have noticed Lucid has done something similar with its Air Sedan. The EV was originally marketed in 2017 as having a range of 400 miles. However, the range was bumped to 517 miles while keeping the price basically the same. They were able to do this due to technological advances that allowed them to reduce the battery's capacity. Rawlinson has even said the range could end up more than 550 miles. He ultimately wants to achieve 5 miles per kilowatt hour of battery up from the current 4 miles per kilowatt hour. So is a $25,000 EV coming from Lucid? The vibes from Rawlinson show he has thought about making EVs that are more affordable to the average Joe. He has even given a 9-year time frame for that to happen if Lucid is going to build the car itself. However, there is no definite word that Lucid is currently pursuing an EV with the $25,000 sticker. Reacting to the buzz created by his comments, he released the following statement. Recently, I delivered a keynote address at the SMMT Electrified Conference wherein I shared my viewpoint that a $25,000 EV would magnify the positive impact EVs can have on the environment and humankind. I further stated that it is technology, not a myopic focus on battery costs, that will allow the industry to achieve a highly efficient and more affordable EV. This seems to have been misinterpreted that Lucid is building a car at such a price point, which is not immediately the case. More affordable EVs are in the future for Lucid, but our focus at this time is delivering the groundbreaking Lucid Air in the second half of 2021. So, no, Lucid has not committed itself to making a $25,000 electric vehicle. If you want an EV with Lucid's logo, you have to be prepared to shell out far more than that. Is any company going to give us the mythical $25,000 electric vehicle? Yes, we have word from Rawlinson's former employer that it would eventually make a $25,000 EV. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, has repeatedly promised such a price point, but it has since remained elusive, making it seems to be harder than he thought. Tesla, however, is still committed to it. The development of the car has been shifted to China. Tom Zhu, president of Tesla China, revealed that the labs in Shanghai, where the car that will be the cheapest Tesla ever will be designed, will be in operation before the end of the year. The car will be fully autonomous, despite its low price tag. It will be aided by the new battery Tesla is making. It will be sold all over the world, so buyers stateside may be able to get it too. This, however, will take Tesla at least another three years to design. Apart from Tesla, the other hope for a $25,000 EV is from the intense competition that will ensue as more traditional automakers start making EVs. They are used to cutthroat competition in the ICE segment, so a race to the bottom may very well be the missing component currently. Now, we know Lucid isn't making a $25,000 EV soon, but what do you think such a car would look like? What range do you expect at that price point? And which EV maker among the established ones do you think will hit it first? Sound off below in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay safe.